My name is Jill Hodge. I'm, I live in San Marcos, California, where I run a chicken farm for about 17 years now. My oldest chicken is Gracie. She's about 10 years old, and she's falling apart at the seams, on the brink of death. Second oldest, we have Dot and Dash. Dot's no longer with us. She fell out of the tree and died on impact. But the sad thing is about the tree was like four feet tall. She still died. Then we have the newest arrivals, which are Data and Uhura and Deanna. They're all pretty great. I named them after Star Trek characters, because I love that show. Then we have Gail. Gail came with her sister, Chip, because it was Chip and Gail, but Chip also died. She got over the fence and the dog ate her. It was very tragic. I don't want to talk about it. Sometimes the chickens attack you. They can claw you. Or if their wings are freshly clipped, they can scratch you with their wings. It's like you sharpened it for them. But the pecs hurt. I don't know what to say. Chickens don't really do much. They're just flightless birds. So really the, the actual purpose of a bird is to fly. They don't fly, so they don't really do anything except eat and fight. So there's a lot of different types of chicken breeds. One of my favorites is the barred rock. You might be able to see her. Gail is a barred rock. She's got the black and white stripes, not stripes. They're like dots, checkers. They're pretty cool, it's a genetic mutation that happened there. If you want to know more, you can look it up. I'm not a book. Then we got Data. Data is a Leghorn, like Foghorn Leghorn from, you know, cartoons. That's all I really know about Leghorns. But we also have Rhode Island Reds. That's what Dash is. It's a very, very good chicken, good for laying layers. All the chickens I own are good layers because we don't eat them. We're against that, sort of. We don't tell them. We also have uh, a garden with corn and peppers and plenty of other stuff. The corn is really cool though because once it gets real big you can start to see the husks. The husks aren't ready yet. The corn isn't ready. Don't ask. We got this certain neighbor with a dog. He always comes over, he sticks his head through the fence, and bothers us. I'm sick of it. We also have two dogs, Cooper and Scout. Cooper's a Labradoodle. He's annoying as heck. Scout's my dog. He's a German Shepherd mix. He's the love of my life. That's all I have to say. Chickens get in the garden sometimes. They peck everything up. Then I hear about it from my dad. So the way you take care of a chicken is you just give them food and water. You have to keep their water clean, because that keeps them healthy. And feed them every day. But you have to be careful not to overfeed them, because if you overfeed them, the chest gets really big and hard. And if they make an egg, and the egg is sitting in there, and they hit a wall or something, and the egg cracks inside them, they die. Don't overfeed your chickens. Sickos. Deanna, the one with freckles, she's a special chicken. It's an Ancona, which is a show chicken breed. She's real pretty though. I've been waiting a long time for her comb to grow and it finally did. And then it finally fell to one side, which is what it's supposed to do. It's the only thrill in my life. So that's the transferring cage. Because, you know, beforehand when the chickens, when you get them as chicks, they're really small. You still need to use a heat lamp to keep them warm because they can't regulate their body heat. Similar to like if you don't have a hen, usually the hen open up her wings and then the chicks go under it and that's how she keeps them warm. But since there's no hen for the chicks, you have to use a heat lamp. Anyway, after the heat lamp, and they're all basically the teenager stage, you move them into the cage and close it because the older girls are around here. And if you just let the teenagers straight out with the older girls, they will get pecked and pecked and pecked, and your chicken will become not pretty, which is not what you want. You want them pretty. So some of you are unegulated with the proper knowledge of how you tell if a chicken egg is right. Well, one of the things you can do, first of all, all chicken eggs are unfertile, which means there's no 
babies in them, no fetus or anything like that. But if there's rooster in, in the yard, then there is a chance that the egg can become fertile. So you test it by putting the egg up to a light, and you can usually see inside if there's an embryo or not. And then for just normal eggs, for eating them, you can put them into a glass of water, and if they sink and touch the bottom, that means they're good. But if they float, that means they're bad, because when the egg gets rotten, air gets inside the egg, and then it will float. You're welcome. <laughs>